Freshwater crabs thrive in streams fed by mountain waters. Surviving largely unchanged through millions of years, they are witnesses to the ascent of man. Man's increasing exploitation of nature over the past few centuries has scarred the land and pushed freshwater crabs to the brink of extinction. This is the story of one species of Taiwan freshwater crab. Learning and understanding is critical to rescuing these creatures from almost certain extinction. Taiwan is a subtropical island nation with a diverse coastal ecology, deeply influenced and enriched by offshore currents and coastline topography. This complex of factors provide exceptional conditions for crabs. Taiwan today is home to at least 500 species of saltwater crabs, 50 species of land crabs, and 40 freshwater crabs. Each displays unique physical traits and survival strategies. Freshwater crabs are the best adapted of all crabs. They thrive mainly in and around clean lowland streams and in damp parts of lowland forests. The Nanhai Potomon is Taiwan's largest freshwater crab and an endemic species. The first taxological specimen was recorded in 1916. Its popular name, Moonlight Crab, derives from its nocturnal habits. Nanhai Potomon's dwelling is usually built 30 to 60 centimeters below ground with a myriad of side tunnels and a reservoir of water. When building a new dwelling, Nanhai Potomans pile excavated mud just outside the entrance and usually construct two access holes. Taiwan's rainy season, from April until July, is the Nanhai Potomon breeding season. In earning the affections of a mate, it's common to see males engaged in territorial fights. After mating, the fertilized female carefully incubates her young.
After hatching, the baby crabs remain safe in the mother's abdomen, venturing out for short periods only in order to scavenge for food. Most stay in mom's protective care for at least two weeks. Only when they can fend for themselves will they leave for good. These animated young crabs are almost always in danger of becoming a larger predator's meal. The main predators of Nanhai Potamon include the crab-eating mongoose and herons. But these threats pale in comparison to the devastation of humans. Over the past two decades, urban sprawl and industrialized agriculture have wrought havoc on Taiwan's ecology. Industrial pollution, the silting of natural waterways and agricultural pesticide residues have erased many Nanhai Potamon habitats and dramatically reduced populations. Today, the endemic Nanhai Potamon enjoys relative safety only at Juko Nature Center in Jai County. Then 员工会到这里来的也不多对而尤其晚上更没有人那他喜欢这样一个很很稳定很安全的一个场域来这边活动那别的地方因为他没有稳定的食物来源没有干净的水域所以他的生活是会受到干扰的对台湾南海西蟹
It is believed that the Nanhai Potamon once thrived in lowland hills throughout central and southern Taiwan. Today, they survive in only a few small pockets, with populations likely even smaller than the current estimates. Other freshwater crab species in Taiwan have distributions that are smaller than even the Nanhai Potamon. Thus, even one development project could decimate most of an entire species and perhaps even push it to extinction. The research done on Nanhai Potamon has unfortunately been very limited. By prioritizing speed and convenience, society is sacrificing the future of these tiny creatures. 这边有一些南海蜥蜴甚至或者是其他比较特别的生物存在